Let me know if you hear anything. Your music? Do you hear? Hold on, I can check the. I can check the levels. It likes to mute itself when it goes full screen. Sometimes, we're good. Yes. Adam Driver's thirty-five. What a guest. Mid twenties. Man, yeah, he looks good. Looking good. Get out of here. Don't need you. Cursor, come on now. There's a little quiet. Quiet. Yeah, I think the. Guys, we're doing it. We're starting over. But Shania. That's the reason we're playing the game. There. I did it. Brave. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spot of life and death. Sorry, if I bonk the table, it's probably going to be super loud. Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle, and wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. This is Command. Your Hot Squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the stratosphere. <laughs> Autopilot systems green across the board. <laughs> this is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. <laughs> I do remember this. I played this a lot. Just this intro. 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. You think the World War Z game? I haven't seen it yet. Unlocked. Long range lasers confirmed. <laughs> 11B down. Our HO229 cancelers are ineffective. It'll be fine on normal. Yeah. It's not one hit kill anymore. Yeah, Otter, I, I swallowed my gamer pride. Enemy unit sighted ahead. He chose normal. Requesting permission to engage. I'll actually play the game. Seven e down. This is such a long intro to replay too. Stuck on the prologue for four hours. That's about how bad I was, yeah. Multiple surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. To save my my dude, I won't let anyone shoot you with these bullets. Oh, I think four B town. Yeah, multi. I was. I did the exact same thing. Apparently, everyone falls in this trap. They start playing on hard, and then the intro is like one or two hit kills, and there's no uh, no checkpoint forever. Understood. Got the plot for Sekiro? Oh man. Congratulations. What are the achievements like? You have to play it multiple times to uh 
get all the achievements, right? Because there's like multiple endings. No, Dreyfus, I have never finished this game. Never ever. Play the original near. Activating short range attack gear. I did, but I didn't finish it. Alert. Large enemy group detected. Yes, I'm aware of that. Wait. It's kind of hard to tell where the story of the f of one was going near one. It was pretty out there. And I guess, hey, that's the universe we're in. People said they weren't super connected, actually. This is what I was told. so weird. I'm like slowly remembering all of this. Enemies destroyed. You should probably move your webcam so you can see your health. Yes, good call. Ah, this asshole. Yes. I remember you. Uh, what corner? Bottom left? Target. Top right? Hmm. Let me see. Good call though, Kids Ghost. And this music though. Hmm. That is good stuff. Good video gaming. Bottom left? Yeah. I think you're right. Oh! I can adjust framing a smidge too. Top right seems to be empty. Oops. John and Alana convinced you to play Automata. Automata. It's been ringing in my ears for sure. And I've been meaning to play it for a long time, so. Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. What the fuck? I think I would already be dead. So I remember getting to this a few times and then it hitting me once and dying. Because you don't have any healing items either. Laser communications recovered. Lasers? Pod program 
I think that's what happened the first time too. I didn't know what it would do. So I just stopped in place and did this ability. And it killed me. Alex, yeah, this is basically my first time. Gameplay seem to lag a little, or is it just my cheap internet? The cutscenes definitely lag a little. Next time, that was dangerous, man. You're two B, right? My name's Nine S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh. I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right. I'll work my way inside from the ground. All right, have fun out there. Whoa. There he goes. Apparently he is Chat's boy. Yeah, I don't know why the cutscenes are so stuttery. I guess PC port. PC port, no, no bueno. Oh yeah. Getting all these currencies. What is that? Picking that up. Dented plate. That's cool. Here's this game of loot. Cutscenes are capped at 30. I think they're pre recorded. So. They look like they're encoded at least. Which is weird, because then you think they wouldn't stutter. So maybe they're just using some file format, or the engine has a hitch whenever it tries to load a video player. I keep forgetting there's like... a fatality animation. Yeah, the dub I thought was... always was renowned to be pretty good. The voice acting is pretty on point so far. They always go down into that state. A fatality state where you can give them a boot. I look forward to that. So it's like Metal Gear Solid Revengeance. I mean, it came out after that game, right? So, yeah. This is 100% the people who made Revengeance. What is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Yeah. Tell them. Oh, English 9S is also Mob. I haven't seen Mob Psycho in English. Look at this, secrets! Oh, There's gonna be some fucking items over here! Give me those items you give them to me. Give them here! Oh, there it is. Alright. Got a sweet potion. Yeah, same team. Same team and even same time. I think these games came out back to back, but I could be wrong. Platinum had some smaller projects at the time, too. Getting gold killing robots. Revenge was 2014 or 15? 2013? Four year gap. Oh wow, okay, never mind. Revenge is older than I remember then. More items. Whoop. Whoa. Oh, you, you can double jump, okay.
One playthrough? Yeah. This is my first time playing. Technically not first first, but first time I'm probably actually really going to play it. Exit confirmed closed. So. Negative. Nearby enemies are jamming our signal. Nothing's ever easy. Just another day for 2B. Dealing with these stupid little robots. Whoa, cool. Okay. So if you do a perfect dodge, you get some kind of like wicked nin ninja anime follow up. That's really weird. The, uh, the reticle seems to go away a lot. I guess when you're hitting an enemy, it doesn't feel like it doesn't need to be there anymore. It fades in and out. It's interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have a laser. Ow. Dang it. Is that just for funs? Does it do anything? Aw. Yes. No spoilers, please. Although I imagine... I'm glad you're here. On Twitch, it's going to be tough to avoid. Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out I really think how much it adds to know the Gestalt story is downplayed. It added a ton for me. Plus, the game spoils Gestalt, which I don't think has a better story. Atomata is more philosophical. We care about Gestalt's characters way more Stop than just me. games. Huh? It's unnecessary. Hmm. All right, then. To be it is. When you say it spoils the story, does it just tell you the events, or is there like a reveal that is really important to the pacing and delivery of uh, Gestalt that is that is ruined? I finished watching the Matrix podcast, it was great. You guys said that the Matrix explored not only the idea of being stuck in a world of lies and escaping by enlightenment, but also the concept of enlightenment being another part of the system. I noticed that it could be argued these ideas were explored thoroughly in Orwell's 1984, the Ministry of Truth, Big Brother, and then the gold scene in his book. Any thoughts? I actually never read 1984, but uh, for sure, I mean, yeah. That is honestly the angle that I, it's an interesting idea. I always viewed it more as a perceptual thing. Like you can, you can achieve what you think is truth, but it's still coming through your perception. So even if you find your truth, you still have to acknowledge that it's just the truth for you, um, and that and that to a degree, fundamental truth or axiomatic truth is not knowable. To make your peace with that, and that also makes you just in general a lot more chill about things. It makes you more willing to be wrong, which is nice. So, I don't know. That's that's what I read into it. I never, uh, I never got too deep on the authoritarianism aspects of it. Either, either that concept doesn't appeal to me as much. Like, uh, maybe I just like philosophic questions more than questions about government and how humans self, self-govern. That summarizes Gestalt, but all the gory details of the first game pay off in this game. We'll go over new players' heads. Okay. Man. Could... Jetpack, do you think you could casually play Gestalt and still get the same value? Or do you think... Is it the sort of game you have to really pay attention to and maybe even do some wiki reading? Because I was playing Gestalt and it didn't feel like I was getting cut in on some deep lore. But then again, I only played it for like... I want to say... 15 hours? Maybe, maybe 10? It was fun. It was like a, a really quirky open world action RPG and I liked that about it. It was always a fun play. I still got it. My 360 sucked up again. But I'm probably not gonna bite it off just yet. This place sure is big. Cool. There's another man over here. The humans used to use it as a weapons factory. But now it's just crawling with machines. Machine seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. The lore that matters is the character moments, and knowing the lore spoils those moments. 
Okay. That sounds valid. I can I can accept that. I think I'll give it a I'll give it a shot. Oh, it auto heals. That could have been that could have been the game starting over again. Granted, I wasn't paying attention. That one would have been on me, but. Uh, this game is perfect for you. Uh, based on my philosophical rambling. Oh. It's an auto chip. You can just toggle it on off and goes to the UI elements. That's kind of cool. It's just accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. Is that, that introducing some of the themes of the game here? I just watched Matrix Reloaded again. And yeah, there's boys there are a lot of that in that movie. People saying strange, strangely disconnected, like philosophic talk in the middle of a normal discussion. After all, we're all just here to work for God, right? I mean, what even is God? What do you think about it? Perhaps God is just the construct of rules to keep our society together. Now we will Kung Fu fight. I love it so much. I love it so much. Cool. that rustic clump for later. It's a quality clump. Near games are a lot like the Matrix movies. Uh, are you telling me it's an anime Matrix? Which I would actually buy at this point. Given all the people who have said, oh my god, that is so your game. I'm like... I'm a simple man. Simple desires. I just need to trust people and they say, holy shit, this is exactly for you. It's totally Anime Matrix. I like what I hear, Dreyfus. Just like the soundtrack is more like electronic hybrid world music than... Uh, controls are locked and cannot be used. Turn of the Millennium Club music. Oh. Detected on enemies. Close range combat is advised. I know. These laser boys. Oops. It flopped around pretty funny. Yeah, I remember this fight being pretty tough. Pretty sure it got me a couple times. Oh. 
Oh god, it gives you your health back? Excellent. Damn it! Oh boy, it's stupid. I was hoping I could get all three. Instead I got nothing! I am now broken. Interesting. The way he kind of wiggles around you makes it interesting to try and get a- trying to line up a shot with that. Yeah, this music is... fucking great. Kind of like Rob Dugan. Yeah! Now the- Everyone that was in the Matrix soundtrack, as, as cheesily 90s as they might be, or cheesily 2000s, has really great work on their own. Anything resembling our target. Maybe they... I don't know, moved it somewhere? That is very fine combat music. God, let her legs go! Is that...? She's just... You mean, the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. This robot lady got full stride, like full sprint stride in high ass heels. Clop, 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 clop. Damn. That's pretty badass. Also, I'm pretty sure this is the double robot. This may be the furthest I've ever gotten in this game. I think I even made it past the double robot once on hard and, I, and then I died. And it still bonked me all the way back to the beginning, so... That hurt. Oh, you have to perfect the intro? Like, not get hit? Is there a... man... Is there an ending for that? That's the whole game, right? Just playing it 800 times to get all the endings? You hate the vocals? Oh, like the high kind of... The nasal sort of shrill. Oh man, fucking turned it on for a second there. Bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Oh, that's cool, Steve. It's got an uh, it's got an assist. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. I think it's so cool that games have that shit now. I thought like when Nintendo did their. Um, I think it was New Super Mario Brothers. They started with like, hey, if you die on this level a lot, we might just throw you a mushroom. Like, well, we'll give you a super thing. I was like, that is such a fucking great idea. And it, it's... It's like perfect because it, it is the exact moment somebody would be frustrated and looking for an option. That one dead now? Is that? Target enemy detected. Really enjoy story mode for scary games? Hate them, but at least you can play them without fear of dying while still getting to enjoy the narrative. Yeah. Horror is weird. Because... Especially with a game... Theoretically... The tension and trauma of a story should match the tension and trauma of your experience playing the game. But that's not necessarily true. I had a lot of friends who were um, really into horror and loved horror games, but either didn't have the input deck, like just the dexterity to play them. Especially like, especially games that come from the, 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 the thesis that like, the game should be a hard time if it's going to be about scary things. That was always a bummer. I always wanted to talk about Silent Hill. I would like to describe it, 
And some of my friends would be like, that's so cool. I wish I could play that. Ah. No! Optimus, no! Oh, he's coming! Oh! Christ! What are you even supposed to... What do you do? It's on fire. Oh. To me. Soma, yeah. I was just gonna bring up Soma. Cause Soma, like, it doesn't have a lot of game mechanics to begin with. But it does have, like, a no death mode. And honestly, the value of that game is in, uh... What's your status? This is the oh, cool. I'm going to destroy. Is in the story? Right. I'll provide support. I think, I think some of it, like, it's substantiated with gameplay. Because that game rules. But... Removing death doesn't change the value of its story at all. Incoming enemy attack from below. Proposal. Evade. Good call. Man, really just... Soma was so good. I came down a lot faster than I thought it would. Walking simulator. I like walking simulators. I think they've got their place. I think you can do some cool shit with them. God damn. Is there any reason to not just hold down right bumper all the time? Oh yeah, what remains of Edith Finch? That game was great. Oh, that game was so good. Oh yeah. The here's the thing, Ian Forsman's. The most the most gamer is to love all games. Boost! Thanks, boy. I think this is further than I've ever gotten. Oh. I thought I thought he wasn't quite dead yet. Oh. Just wait until you go robot fishing. Negative. Communications have been jammed. Robot Command. Anime Girl Headquarters. I guess there's pretty anime people of all kinds. Anticipation of getting scared by jumps ruins it for me. Yeah. There are some horror games that don't rely on jump scares, but some of them do. A lot of them rely on, rely on like, really oppressive moods. Like, Five Nights is a jump scare game. Kids, I saw and liked Annihilation. I appreciated it. Yeah, this is definitely further than I've ever gotten. But yeah, uh, Annihilation had a meaning f that I took from it. It made me think about certain things in my life and gave me perspective on those. I don't know if that's the intended meaning, but I also think... Annihilation is one of those movies that can be interpreted in multiple ways and actually... Fuck. I was trying to do that. Manages to do it really well. For me... Um, I can also see somebody being like, this movie's too fucking pretentious. And I can be like, okay, that's good too. I have to repair him. 
Oh, it's WrestleMania time? Yeah, that's tonight, right? Staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the- Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair- Shut and up! Current... Just do what I say! To be... Just go. Me, you shut up too! Yeah. We... We're so- Camione. We take- I, uh, I- Kind of the same way. The only thing that's really scared me in RE2 is Mr. X busting through the wall. Or just to kind of surprise being there. That gets me too, and he's pretty good at that. HO229 flank unit. Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. <laughs> All right. I've never gotten here before. I've never seen lasers of this size. Okay, he's making some pretty wild sounds. Why are you so mad, bro? Whoa, where? This is, uh, Near Automata. A game I've been meaning to play forever. Are you not also a machine? To provide support. You're still alive, huh? Good for you, buddy. To be the control of the This is the vertical slice. They just show you everything. Should be able to take it over. I told you to shut up! Oh. Control of upper arm. Seized from enemy unit. Marking weak point. Got it. Woo! These is control system. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Behavior table adjusted. That's all I had to do? Controls overridden. Enemy unit subjugation complete. Oh shit. I have a robo arm. If I hit you with your own arm. You like that? I got enemy magic. Yeah, that's what <laughs> Top ten anime, stop hitting yourselves. You just die already! Thank you, Tig. Tig Zay. Talk about bringing the battle to them. <laughs> Ought to be. So you have to do that intro multiple times. Just assistance. That seems. No. That seems time-consuming. Doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. That's different the next time. Uh oh. Ah. Controller rumbled right off my leg. You don't? Okay. I didn't know. People said you had to replay it multiple times, so... It implies that you would have to. If you're not an idiot and you don't try to play it on hard, like I said... I don't imagine that... <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box. It's ready. 
Right. It's an oversimplification. Gotcha. Okay. DLC has a fair amount added to it. Added to the main game anyway. Oh. Did they re DLC out on PC? Requesting. Because they re-released this game, right? It's like the Yora of the Year edition. Via black box reaction. Request accepted. It was an honor to fight with you. Oh, it's an arena thing. The honor was mine. Dying. Achievement unlocked. Game begin, I guess? A walking simulator? Psh, gotta just walk down a hallway? No thank you. Hey. No thank you, SJWs. You came from my games one last time. I actually have to use the restroom, so I'll be right back. See you guys in a minute. Success of these books has generated spin-offs such as a graphic novel. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, here, cursor. Get out. Gone. Back being Cyber Lady. In the past? Because it's all black and white. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. 
Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you. For uploading my data to the bunker. Um... I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. Oh, did they get, like, re rebuilt? Down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Oh, shit. Is this gonna be about, like, unreliable narration? Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvous. Can people fuck with your memories? Your robo-memories? Oh, man. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Yeah, we go in Mr. Robot with this. Unreliable narrator up in this bitch. She robo-mad. Yeah, I don't know shit, Tequila. Yes, I do want to connect to the network. Come on in, fellow gamers. Let's have a good time together. Let's give each other helpful tips and encouragements on this path we share. I'm sure it will be a pleasant experience. Fifty twelve AD. The year of mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end. When the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars. Aliens! The aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine life forms, that machine. all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army. So it's robots. Network of orbiting bases. Robots of two races fighting over control of a planet that neither one lives on? Scale descents upon the enemy. We still haven't managed to repel the invaders. That is why you, the Yorha forces, exist. To break this stalemate once and for all. I'm guessing the humans are all dead. Our ultimate weapon. And have been for a long time. Put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind. Oh, androids and machines. Got it. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Matrix parallels, yeah. Go fight on foreign land for something you don't own. Yeah, good shit. Ah, yes. Look up. 2B, look up. Okay, that's cool. I like I like games that aren't afraid to like confuse the player for a little bit. Oh, oh yeah. Found the guide. Got it. Ah, that's cute. God, they're gonna show this to me later, and it's gonna mean like something crazy different, and I'm gonna lose my mind. They're really walking me through these. Ma'am, are you there? All right. All right. Are we good now? Okay. Settings should all be good to go. Uh, hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec. We need to restore those. We're gonna have that. We're gonna need those. Yep. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know. So you overthink it, or sorry, you self-destruct if you start down a if things go wrong, story branch you don't want to do. Sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. Very important option. Yeah, is this like a uh, live die repeat? situation or if you blow yourself up it resets down uh or it resets back to a default state so you can try again to get a particular ending or something like that voice volume is how many puppies you kill later no i didn't know i'm sorry puppies morning 
Traditional manual saves. No auto saves in near. Okay. That's good to know because I think that that screwed me up before too. Nine S. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. Is there a way to make the dialogue autoplay? Oh, it does. We nine S models are the best around, you know. It's just kind of slow. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Nine S. Hmm. What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? Yes, miss. There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right, if you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We'd better go see what's up, man. Er, to be. Let's see here. Mystery says, been a fan of Funhouse from the start and it's a game before that. I want you to know that I believe you infused the group with an analytical intelligence they couldn't do without, and I appreciate you. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Ooh. Yeah, I, I never try to... You have to buy... That's cool. You buy HUD elements? Oh, that's why I didn't see an XP gauge. I don't have one. That's cool. Save and self-destruct now. I I wouldn't do that if I were just playing on my own. Like if I were just doing my own thing, I don't I would probably wait for them to tell me to self-destruct, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh sh but I don't know if I, should I buy sound waves? Nah, I'll I'll wait. I'm just at the beginning again. There's gonna be plenty of time. Gonna be plenty of time to buy all the chips and what's it's and upgrades and who's that's. How do I check my email? It's gotta be back in here, right? My room. Item shop. No. Oh, wait. Didn't show me this before. Oh, whatever. Okay. I don't know where the I don't know where the emails are. One day email I'll just be mail. Reminds me of that mini clip game. Upgrade everything. Where you upgrade the minis of the game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There are several HUD chips you start with that are totally useless, like save points. All it does is display a text line when you're in range of a save point. You can still see them on the minimap without it. Control just makes your HUD fade away out of combat if you don't care. That's three extra storage you could save. Access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. I mean, I don't think I have a whole lot of use for it right now. Oh, you can talk in the field. Oh, oh! You do you then. Am I experiencing some android racism? Hey, Joe Nellis. Oh, Joe Niels? You have subscribed in a way that warrants playing a song. Maybe I sh should I just chat? Let me know. Should I keep doing that? Has it gotten annoying yet? 
I guess the saving possible is what you were talking about. This is, there's a lot of people who need to look into things. You like the songs? Okay. In that case, one moment! It's time to celebrate somebody giving me money! I doubted myself, you guys, and I doubted the power of music. I should believe in my friends and my family, and most of all, the Fast and Furious 8 soundtrack. Any song that has Pitbull in it will always be by my side. These are things that we can count on in this, in this sad, twisted world. Hmm. Who knew that uh, Pitbull would be the one to save us all? In these trying times. Alright, here's some Untoons for you. Thank you so much for subbing. I really appreciate that, Joe. Please enjoy the song. Oh crap, Cage Money had a four year sub. Oh my god, how did I miss it? I'm sorry. I'll play a song for you too, just a minute. Yeah, it's, it is a surprisingly wholesome link. Scold? That's a good guess. No, this is Juno Reactor. Again, Matrix. They, they did a lot of the soundtrack in 2 and 3. Track is The Sky is Blue, The Sky is Black from Juno Reactor. Alright, thank you guys. Appreciate the, uh... Appreciate the fun. She can't spell funds without fun. Hold on. It's not, it's not uh, full screen. And sometimes it likes to go wacky when that happens. So let me click over here. So nothing... Nothing untoward happens when I do this. Oh crap. Oh, please don't. Okay, good. Finally get Matrix 2. It's better than I remembered. Um, sorry, I'm going to turn the fan back on. It's getting a little tipsy already. Um, yeah, uh, Matrix 2 is really great. It's, um,. I think anyone is justified in being like, that's, it's a little, it comes on a little strong. You need something? Okay. We ain't got no problem. Is this the kind of game where, like, talking to NPCs is valuable? Seems like it might be. Sometimes. Hmm. Depends on your definition of valuable. Good point. Did Morpheus die in three? I was trying to remember that. I do know that, uh... I remember Trinity... was taken from us. Maintenance finished? Yes, Commander. You detonated your black box Man. in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Are all ladies Understood. fucking hippie as hell in this game? But I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the Thick ladies. Rendezvous with the Resistance and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them. So we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. Yeah. That kind of hippie. She's a wide girl. Yes, they are. All right. Well, okay. It's not important unless it's a voice actor. Okay. Monochrome palette at this place kind of bothers me. It's probably supposed to. 
They're robots, man. What do they care? Or androids. You're getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. Are you carrying enough supplies on you? If not, you can always use the terminal in your... ...room to replenish them. Sure. Robot is like a slur for androids. I know, I'm sorry. It's a bad habit. I have to shake it. The hangar's up ahead. Let's go. Just both in space slapping the shit out of each other on Earth. Maybe Gubba Hump, maybe emotion is a form of control. And that's why they have emotions, I don't know. Oh, Platinum Source games? Yeah. The core games didn't seem to work out very well. They also made that intro game, yeah. Don't try and pick out the rules of the world because it isn't always super consistent. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Not unlike the Matrix, also true. B2B. Why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. Alright, alright. You're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Run. Cool. I'll save you. How does Nia have power in the real world? Um, I was thinking about that. I think it's because, so a lot of Matrix 2 is kind of breaking down the ideas of predestination. Um, and also, like, how people define their existences. I think Neo gets power in the real world because he is, he is close to attaining truth. He's close to attaining free will, and I think I think that that manifests itself as in his ability to rewrite the rules of not only the fake world but the real one as well. He gains the ability to overwrite the fake world because he learns the truth of it, but he doesn't learn the truth of himself or his motivations. Yeah, he's close to Nirvana basically. So I think the idea is when he understands the separation of perception and reality, he's then able to change reality with his perception. It's it's like, yeah, it's like you can see code in the real world, exactly. Um, and that, I think, plays into the themes of the movie and also the fact that his combat with Mr. Smith is set up the way it is. Because Mr. Smith is a slave to his purpose. He only exists because of his purpose. Whereas Neo has, has found a way to exist independently from it or find a higher purpose or a higher truth or he found a reason he found truth in existence without needing purpose or or while being able to choose his own purpose if that makes any sense yeah. you care about a spoiler tip that has no plot significance no that doesn't bother me really neo is jesus yeah no you're i mean i think that's the idea you achieve a form of nirvana spiritual or intellectual and it gives you deity status What's Smith's purpose? To destroy Neo. And that's it. So when he destroys Neo, target he destroys himself. On he, Proceed to target he only existed because of his purpose. That's something he says in Matrix 2, because he never had free will, never had a, a soul. Uh, so even set free of instruction, he found that he still needed purpose to be alive, to be existing. So he defaulted back to his previous purpose, which was destroy Neo. 
So, in the end, when Neo sacrifices himself, he makes the choice, the true choice, as an actualized human to sacrifice himself. Mr. Smith destroys himself by attaining his purpose, thus removing him of his purpose and his reason to exist. It's like... And there was even... There was even a... To me, that's what that's what the fight at the end of Revolutions was all about, and I think they answered some unanswerable questions as much as a movie could. Uh, doesn't he also have his motivations of having to control some of his reality? Yeah, I mean, there's that line of like, "What do men with power want? More power." And that was that was said to, that was said to describe Smith's motivations as well. So yeah, but I always saw that as a means to an end. Um, to attain his his assumed purpose, because there's a lot of talk about Neo as well. Despite being the hero, is merely only doing what he's told. He still, like in a very Shakespearean way, hasn't taken action or discovered who he is. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. An experienced soldier. That's cool. Can make online people fight for you. That's creepy looking. Oh, oh, they bow. This has turned into the most Lawrence stream. Yeah, I mean that was that was to be expected, right? Everyone always said it. I was wondering how people reproduce in the Matrix. Yeah, right. I always wondered how like how oral history doesn't lead people to discover that they've been locked in the same time period for... Oh, that's a hole. I thought that was a reflection. <laughs> um, how, like, when your dad tells you what it was like when he was a kid, it would have been, like, 1999. And then when that person tells their kid what life was like for them, it would have been 1999. So there has to be some kind of, like, continuous memory rebooting, or, like, they insert memories of an earlier time into a generation and I don't know the passage of time like pre preventing the acknowledgement of the passage of time is would be an interesting thing to bite off body still withers and die yeah yeah people still die they get old and die um there also was like uh on the podcast um, there was an interesting point brought up that, like, they never say what city it is. They just call it the city. So, like, is this virtual world, is it just this one city? And everyone doesn't see beyond that? Like some Truman Show stuff? Or they, f they fake it if you travel anywhere? They can fake memories in the Matrix? Yeah, for sure. For sure. They talk about, like, deja vus being overwriting stuff, so it's... You do, you remember it as differently. Ah. Uh, this is so pretty. Yeah. Wisecrack's pretty cool, y'all. Parts of the first Matrix were filmed in Sydney. So, were the, so was the second one. That's where they built the highway, right? <laughs> yeah, otters. Alright, it's time to roll up the sleeves and hit that bong. We're talking philosophy, I guess. Truman shows something I think a lot about. That's good. I I think it's it's important sometimes to like maybe even as a affirmation remind yourself of the mutability of existence. I don't know, I think it's good to do that every once in a while to remind yourself to like really embrace that everyone has a lot of different experiences and you have yours but everyone else has theirs too moose are they angry are they angry no they run okay cool I'm trying to figure out what all the icons on the mini map mean what was that are you not mean you're not oh you're just little walking boys Okay. I'm really glad you talked about Cloud Atlas. Yeah. That movie's so beautiful. Um, it's a bummer that no one watched it. And it's a lot to bite off. I can understand that. The movie even opens with, Alright, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right up front, you gotta, you gotta bear with us. 
Oh no! What are you guys doing? Jamming caused by enemies in local vicinity. Whatever, they're robots that don't have don't have purpose. Oh. Cool. Oh, there's my emails. Now I can hear from my son. Oh. God damn it. First one is all Chicago. Oh, okay. It was all filmed in Australia, but the Wachowskis were from Chicago. And Chicago native would recognize the streets and landmarks. Shut down fights that is taking place there. Gotcha. Map data obtained from Bunker. I mean, may be displayed from the system menu. Map data, huh? It's hard to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Oh, according to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. Oh. Cool. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. That's pretty weird. Oh, yeah. Time after Truman Show? Yeah, they could have... I think if you run with that, though, it's it's like... It's like Matrix 1 into the rest of them. You start to get into really heady topics about reality that make people uncomfortable. I think Truman Show is probably the... The... Warm... Most warm you can deal with that sort of topic. I try to think about Truman not being homeless outside the dome. I mean, he had a life. He like he still had work skills and stuff. Society was arguably exactly the same, except uh, maybe like not everybody would be so oddly nice to him. I wonder about that. They they touch on it a little bit in the movie, but how much his life experience would be fundamentally different if he actually went back to being a normal person? Because they try to script a normal life for him, but I wonder just like what little things would be different. Press dodge to sprint. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that. Yeah, Mystery J. I, I need to rewatch the third one. I just remember being a real downer of a movie. Not not only because it like quality wise is a little a little lacking, but I haven't seen it in forever. I also remember it just thematically it's it's just kind of a bummer. It's just very bleak. The whole movie is like people dying. And not knowing what to do and wondering why they're suffering. As I recall. God damn, she puts on the jets. No wonder this girl got a booty that won't quit. Cool. Just does it really just put the next waypoint for you? Also, yeah, all this orange. Ah, I didn't sell anything. Could have done that. Could have done that, but didn't. Fills out the world map. Okay. Well, let me come up here. At least the part with the mechs are pretty cool. Yeah, I remember that being cool, but it was like a lot of... This is just back into the level, right? I remember being a lot of... You now it's also a great time to self-destruct. Just whenever. Yeah. Hmm. Seems like they want me to go back the way I came. Oh, wait, what? Seems like it. Alright. Straight ahead down the ramp. Like down this ramp. Ooh, there's an item.
cool. Uploading into my Resident Evil 2? Yeah! I still need to finish that game. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? You're back the first boss, and you have your heavy sword back. Oh, okay. Is this all the stuff that I dropped? Is that my previous inventory? Oh, I guess, yeah, that gave me the, the auto use. There's your body from the intro. That's pretty cool. Wait, what? Can re equip your auto use chip? I guess I might as well. Ugh. Oh my god. The fuck? Is the two the space? Yeah, okay, that's the amount of space it takes. Where's the, uh... Oh. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. You're probably first in here? Yes. I want to say a, a handful of hours. I don't remember how many exactly. It's an intimidating menu, but it makes sense. Yeah, it just takes a minute to click. I think I can get over there from here. No. This is not meant to be... Okay. It's not game space. Just gotta go back through here. Cool. Okay. This is the PC version, yeah. I don't I don't know what bugs are in it. And yes, this is my first playthrough. So I am an innocent boy. This kind of reminds me of Uncharted. With, like, ruined urban centers with overgrowth and stuff. Or, sorry, enslaved. Not Uncharted. Although, I guess, some, some, sometimes Uncharted a little bit. Just running into that shrub always hurt. Yeah, Otter. I like the... I like levels that allow you to explore, but are not just big, open, empty spaces for no reason. I imagine, like, that's that's such an easy thing to say, though, right? Not a very brave statement. Come on. Can I get through here? No? Over here, then? Ooh. A little silver ore sitting on the ground. Don't need that ever since the apocalypse. The sleeve was so weird. It was weird, but I liked it a lot. Oh. Sup, y'all? There's a TV in the background? Um, yeah. Stephanie's listening to some stuff. Four diamonds is main story. Single red diamonds are side quests. Red dots are points of interest. We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. Cool. Bugs are soft lots. Too bad a big but not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. That's not a good thing. Odd story though. Yeah, I think it took it asked you to take a lot on faith, um, which I was cool doing because it was kind of like part fantasy. I had really, really endearing characters. However, I think I'm going to stop streaming there.
for today. I'm gonna play more of this. This is like just when it's starting, and I understand that, but I wanna go hang out with Steph. I've been gone for a long time, so I just wanna couch couch time. Can Steph please start a decorative cake franchise? Because damn, she made a good-looking cake. Yeah. Hey, Steph. Oh. I'll let her know. I keep telling her that she needs to stream it. Um, she's really good at it, and I think she has a lot to teach people. But. Whoop. Ah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back this week. Normal time's happening again, so. Appreciate you. Thanks for sticking around. I could be the next cake boss. I could be... I could, I could, I could roll with a cake boss. That's cool. All right, see you guys later. Prince's protagonist, Case, is a streetwise young man living at the periphery of a not unfamiliar high-tech society and its laws. Familiar? Yet a society with imploded cities, mutant subcultures, and artificial realities. The sky above the port was the color of television tuned to a dead channel. Night City was like a deranged experiment in social Darwinism designed by a bored researcher who kept one thumb permanently on the fast-forward button.
Atlantis by Imagic is a superb twist on the classic missile command. In both games, the player must defend six objects, in this case underwater fortresses, at the bottom of the screen from enemies above, and the player has no objects that can be moved around. The main thing to figure out about Atlantis is that the enemy jets can only fly at four different altitudes. Follow this ship. See how it first moves across the top of the screen, then across a second level, then across a third, and finally to the lowest level where it appears with its laser firing. On light missile command, you can't fire anywhere on screen using a target sight, but you do have three cannons instead of just one. The cannons all fire at fixed points on the screen. Center cannon fires straight up, while the ones on the right and left sides of the screen fire on the diagonals. Since most players are used to games in which the player's cannon fires straight up, the center gun is easiest to use. However, blowing up an enemy jet with a side gun scores twice the points, so it's best to learn how to use them accurately. Side guns are very effective at knocking out enemy jets just as they appear in the upper corners of the screen. You can learn to anticipate when the next one is about to appear, then let go a shot in that direction, hoping to kill the enemy as it appears. Because you are allowed two shots on screen at a time, it is always wise to fire in quick pairs. If the first shot misses, perhaps the second won't. Try to use your side guns first on each